Hi, I'm Adrian. And I'm Keisha. Join us every Saturday from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. in the month of October as we bring you Travel Access, our new program on AF4 Radio that gives our listeners a chance to explore new travel destinations within ASEAN. Brought to you by Air Asia. Welcome back, you're listening to Travel Access with me, Adrian, and uh, Keisha is also in the studio. Uh, we are talking about Goa, India, because this is the next travel destination that we're going to go to in uh, 2016, sometime in February, after Chinese New Year, mm -hmm. because uh, it's apparently the perfect time to be in Goa. Yes. So we've been talking about Goa, India the whole time, uh, Keisha, mm -hmm. you and I. Uh, we, we need to go there after Chinese New Year because yes. we have to celebrate. I need to celebrate Chinese New Year, okay. and that is, uh, I think, in the first week of February. And after that, we can uh, take a flight. Yes. Uh, so apply for leave now, Keisha. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do. Yeah, apply for leave now <laughs> because uh, the whole idea is of the, of course, uh, to find you a handsome prince to marry yeah. while you are in Goa. <laughs> and uh, we've talked about a couple of uh, things that are interesting to do in in Goa. For instance, we've got the the Dusaga waterfall where yes. you will take your bath at yes. the waterfall in the bikini yes. and hopefully we will have a handsome prince amongst the trees to fall in love with you as opposed to have the monkeys fall in love with you okay. uh, <laughs> so in the studio is our special guest Linda Fernandez hello Linda how are you hi I'm fine <laughs> um, two years of age and that's when I uh, my dad loved the place uh. and uh, it so happened that um, my uh, dad said, "That's the, that's it. This is Goa. And this, this is Goa. Is and this going is going to be home. To, yeah, this is going to be my place. I'm going to work here, and I'm going to uh, live so. here." We, we are very used to Malaysian food. We eat satay and we eat our misiam and our laksas and our nasi lemaks and all that. But do you have any suggestions for us? Well, the go uh, the Goan fish curry. Kisha, fish curry yeah. kisha. Yeah, I googled it down. Uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Frying potato chips is not cooking, Kisha. Uh, it's not that. I fish cook curry. Pasta. Uh, fish <laughs> curry is uh, made of coconut. Mm. Yeah, and the Goan spicy pork sausages. Wow. Uh, they have different uh, varieties of fish. Uh -huh. They they fry, they have varieties of uh, masalas which mm. they marinate. Masala is essentially spices, is spices, it? Spices. Okay, yes. so different masala. Yeah. They have this pao bhaji. Pao bhaji what is that? It's like a pao, the bread. The bread, uh, okay. Stuffed with, um, stuffed with potatoes and uh, fish. We need to go because I think Goa is also famous for their beach fronts, their beach parties, and the beautiful yes. resorts, isn't it? In Goa, huh? Linda got yeah. very beautiful resorts, exactly. and you you used to live near near a beach as well, isn't it? Yeah, beach. Um, it's also suitable for sunset watching. Yes. So romantic, yeah, Isha. When you kiss the monkey and it becomes a frog, <laughs> you bring this frog there, and then you kiss the frog again, and hopefully he'll turn into a prince that you can marry. It's an occasion where Goan farmers manifest joy and happiness. Mm -hmm. it it reflects rich tradition and culture of Goa. It includes singing, dancing, drinking, feasting. And uh, See, the streets are decorated you. with colors and floats. Oh wow. Yeah. Ah, Kisha. Mm. This is the place that you it's need really to go and nice. live. Okay. Uh, so you better go to what that place to go and take your uh, uh, the Dusaga waterfall. waterfall. Yes. Uh, don't find a monkey, you better find a prince. <laughs> no, no, I kiss the monkey, then turn into a prince, right? <laughs> then turn into a frog. <laughs> 